welcome to exotic astrology ladies and gentlemen and today i am very happy because we're going to discuss the most ignored house <laughs> the most ignored yet the most powerful house one of if not the most then one of the top three most powerful houses in the horoscope but yet the number is ka number bahut piche lagta hai the num the number is way behind as per official numbers it comes to number four but in priority list it's somewhere in uh, 10 or 11 or maybe even 12 right people rarely discuss about this house yet this house the fourth house is so incredibly powerful that it says so many things the fourth house is everything because it tells us about how we take things in life okay that tells us how we view this world it is everything it is very 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 powerful just see lord ram he had saturn in the fourth house retrograde exalted and that planet became the root cause of going to uh, the forest and kidnapping of sita devi and then of course later on he becoming a king so his whole life can be summarized just by the fourth house so can you even imagine how powerful this house is? All right. So if you do not use this house properly, then you're gonna you will make the biggest blunders in astrology because what will happen is you will tell everything, but you will forget who the person is. Okay. So for example, uh, you may say, Oh, you have this, you have that, good, bad, all the things, but how will the person take it? That the fourth house will tell you, all right. So therefore, please analyze the fourth house. When I say fourth house, analyze three planets. The Lord of the fourth house, the moon, which is the Karaka for the fourth house primarily, and planets sitting in the fourth house. So if there are more than one planet, uh, planets, then you can see uh, the other planets. Okay, but these three planets, bare minimum, very, very, very important. If, if the moon is already the fourth Lord, if you are Aries Lagna, then of course you have two planets. Okay, or you may have like seven planets because there may be many planets sitting in the fourth house. Okay, so here are 10 ways by which the fourth house defines you. And as I repeat, the fourth house is everything. All right, so if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe and please let me know by hitting the thumbs up, write down in the comments what is going on in your fourth house, what planets do you have, and how do you think you rate yourself in these 10 areas all right and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in the fourth house <laughs> so number one what does the how does the fourth house define who you are number one very 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 critical especially as kaliuga is getting worse and worse it defines your mental stability Chandrama Manaso Jataha. So the moon is the mind. So it defines your mental stability, how stable you are. Do you get very, do you jump when there's something good? Or do you get in depression when something goes out of your way? So how are you when things don't go your way? How are you when things go your way? Either ways, right? So if a person, suppose you have an employee in your, in your company, you are uh, the manager and this person, uh, your employee, uh, your subordinate gives some suggestion, uh, but this employee does not have a good fourth house. So if you do not take his suggestion, then he or she will uh, get into depression and they will start doing backpitting against you. Okay. So this is just an example because um they don't have mental stability okay they 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 try to think everybody is my enemy they try to see uh, all the negative things in the world okay so uh, if you don't have a good fourth house well you need to uh, do remedies to improve your fourth house okay very 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 important very 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 crucial number 2 it defines the definition of happiness in your life. Okay, so how do you define happiness? I'm not talking of success. Definition of success is from the 10th house, okay, not the 4th house. But what is the definition of happiness? Okay, what do you think makes you happy or what do you think should make you or what do you think can make you or what do you think inevitably makes you happy? What do you think, right? What are things that make you happy? If you, if you, don't if you have a good fourth house you will know what makes you happy okay and you will do things 
in that area to make yourself more happy if you don't if you don't have a good fourth house you you will either not know what will make you happy or you will be misguided okay you will misunderstand yourself and you will think no by doing this i'll be happy but actually it's the opposite okay so therefore fourth house uh, in good dignity is very important for happiness in life otherwise the person is very miserable okay in depression all right number 3 this is huge this is my favorite okay about the fourth house i have spoken about this a thousand times maybe in my channel <laughs> the fourth house tells you can you accept things in life right you know, like we have the example of uh, the great vidur who is one of the central characters in the mahabharat right so vidur uh, was born not from a queen and that is why he Uh, could not become the king okay uh, but he accepted it he did not go on uh, criticizing his mother or his you know uh, father or anybody he did not curse god he accepted some things cannot be changed okay now of course this does not mean uh, you just accept injustice that is done to you but no matter which part of the world you are which century you live in there will always be something or the other which is beyond your control okay so can you accept the things which are beyond your control yes or no if if the fourth house is good then you can if not the fourth mm -hmm, uh, then you cannot accept okay you hold grudges animosity you hold hatred violence poison inside okay number 4 which is pretty obvious <laughs> the fourth house will tell you if you are a narcissist or empath okay now of course there are many uh, points to judge if somebody has uh, narcissism now but when i say you are a narcissist uh, it means uh, most of the points of narcissistic personality disorder are in you and they are to such an extent that you cannot change okay or if you are an empath like uh if you feel good about others if you want to do good for others you uh, you are happy to see others happy you are unhappy to see others unhappy okay so empath is like if i try to speak from a scriptural perspective he is uh, para sukha sukhi happy when others are happy and para dukha <laughs> para dukha dukhi okay so it's like i am unhappy when you are unhappy okay a narcissist is the opposite okay so he is para sukha dukhi whenever he sees others happy he is miserable and para dukha sukhi oh you are suffering oh that's great abhi maza aayega dekh ke na so everybody has narcissistic personality traits inside us no uh, but it depends on to the level okay and who is the most uh, who are the most narcissistic personalities that you will find you will find duryodhan you will find uh, shakuni you will find ravan you will find dushasan karna you will find uh, indrajit meghnad you will find kumkaran you will find all these personalities full of themselves okay uh, eager to see others unhappy okay in in uh, there could be some exceptions within these personalities but primarily they are very uh, they are very unhappy to see others happy and very happy to see others unhappy okay primarily okay 99% of the time there could be some exceptions of course number 5 if there is a connection of the lagna and the fourth house then it means that inner happiness is something which you should look for in life okay so for example if the lagnesh is it with the fourth lord the fourth lord and the lagna lord are in parivartan or they are mutually aspecting each other so then what happens is you may sometimes be wondering okay i have so many things in life but still why am i not happy well then it may be that you have everything apart from the things that uh, makes you happy so for example uh, if the chart indicates you have a good family uh, having a family will make you happy but you have the lagnesh and the fourth lord and some of maybe your 10th house is very prominent okay so then you will only run behind money and ignore your family and because of that you will be miserable throughout your life okay so if there is a connection between the lagna and the fourth please put your inner happiness as the top priority otherwise you will run a game which you cannot win nor can you stop <laughs> imagine you play a game where you cannot stop nor can you ever win okay 
how miserable your life would be. Would you like to play such a game? Number six, if the son is connected with the fourth lord, then you value family and inner uh, people in your inner circles. Okay, this is very important because the sun shows your identification. So when you are looking at a person's chart, if you see the sun and the fourth lord conjunct or connected by some means, and then if this person tells you that I want to know about my relationship, will my relationship sustain, will my uh, will I get a divorce or what? then you have to understand it's not just a divorce for this person. It's like life and death for this person, okay? Because the son is involved, okay? So therefore, if son and the fourth house are linked, then please, whenever you are giving a consultation to a client, please do not ignore the things which are very dear to the person, okay? And in generally, family, spouse, children, they are very dear or friends in general, okay? So therefore, please give extra attention to these houses like the second house, fifth house, seventh house and the ninth house and the eleventh house. Okay, second house is family, fifth house is children, seventh house is spouse, ninth house is the parents, eleventh house is uh, siblings. Okay, I mean uh, elder siblings or you know it could be uh, like uh, seniors or it could be like friends. Okay, so therefore please pay attention to these five houses. Give them more priority. Okay. If the sun is involved. Now, number seven, if the fourth house is badly afflicted, there could be terrible experiences in the childhood. There could be childhood traumas, you know, childhood abuse and all this, you know, not childhood physical or sexual abuse necessarily, but could be psychological or, you know, emotional, traumatic, you know, all these things could be there. And this could shape the person uh, from the beginning of their childhood. Okay. So if you see, that a person has a very strong 10th house, but somehow the person's 4th house is not good and the person has very high aims, then you need to tell the person that, my dear sir, my dear madam, you have these great aims, which is perfectly fine, nothing wrong, but you need to know that after you get all this, you may not be happy, nor you may be able to sustain them. So you need to decide if you want to work 22 hours a day or you are better off with a good life, uh, average, above average life, but are you sure you want to like become a billionaire or somebody because a person who has a bad fourth house will exaggerate things the person if is not happy inside the person will think oh i will become a billionaire then i will happy i will marry the most charming person i'll have the best car the best house okay we are coming to house fourth house house <laughs> but you have to tell the person that, my dear sir, you are trying to compensate your lack of inner happiness, your inner emptiness, your uh, problems in your childhood by getting money and external things. And that will not make you happy beyond a certain extent. So please uh, take help of uh, a psychologist, psychiatrist, you know, take help of an astrologer, take help of your gurus, take help of seniors get counseling, do spiritual practices, come out of it. Okay, therefore, very, very, very important. Now, number eight, forgiveness. Can you forgive others? Oh my God, I have to forgive others. Who will forgive me? <laughs> oh my God, forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness is seen from two houses, the fourth and the fifth. So if your fourth house is good, you can forgive others uh, yeah, if the fourth house is not that great, you may have problems in forgiving others, okay? Uh, but again, for this, you need to check the Lagna, you need to check the fifth, the ninth, you know, so all these things, okay? You need to check, okay? Very, very, very important. So for, uh, for example, if your fourth house has problems, then what could happen is um, somebody tells something to you and you remember it for the rest of your life. You cannot forget it, okay? So that's the problem with the fourth house. You cannot forget bad things, especially with your life, okay? As I said in point number three, can you accept things in life, okay? It boils down to number three always, acceptance, okay? Number four, uh, number nine, sorry, uh, fourth house is the lungs, but what, is, what does the lungs do? It, it's the house of purification, right? So therefore, if the Lagnesh is connected to the fourth house, not the fourth lord, but the fourth house, okay, so if the Lagnesh is in 
the fourth house uh, or the lagnesh is aspecting the fourth house you know in both the scenarios now uh, it is very important that you keep yourself uh, clean because this is a uh, this is known as uh, shuddhi yoga okay which means you should uh, keep your externals clean you know your house you know never wear the same cloth two times now always take bath at least once or if possible two times a day uh, don't let negativity sink in because that will destroy your lagnesh also okay which means your own thought process your brain it will be finished so uh, therefore just like the lungs they purify the air okay it's like it purifies your consciousness the fourth house okay so do some aarti in the sandhya do some aarti in the morning you know keep your mind clean have good people around you by that you will be doing much better in life okay number 10 it shows slow but gradual growth okay so for example if a person has a good fourth house but other other placements are average that person will grow very high in life gradually in their 40s 50s 60s 70s at least by their 40s 50s they will reach a very good position it's like real estate okay because fourth house is also real estate but today i will not discuss on all this you know real estate cars and all this you know these are also from the fourth house but today's focus is on the internal aspects of the fourth house so they will give you gradual growth because you have stability you build slowly okay what is real estate you build one building you you build one floor then another then another then another okay so it's consistent work stability building one on the top of the other so therefore if a person has a bad fourth house the person may get lot of things but the empire will crumble it's like the building the real estate is not very strong the base is weak so what happens there is a, a tiny earthquake or some a natural calamity and bang on it's all finished okay so therefore if you have a good fourth house you can sustain things for very long okay and you can handle the ups and downs basically all right so therefore uh, one of the easiest ways to know if somebody has a good fourth house the the easiest way i'll tell you you don't have to see the chart you don't have to see anything you just can do this by meeting the person even once so after meeting somebody who has a good fourth house you will feel like at home you will feel like oh i have become more calm i have become more peaceful i have become more happy inside and after meeting somebody if you are like ah oh, why did i meet this person you know something or the other is wrong okay whatever it could be but you feel like you can i i can't explain you but you understand right there's some problem so if you feel like that then uh, the fourth house is smashed okay so please make sure that uh, you meet people <laughs> but uh, if if you find somebody has a bad fourth house and their behavior in real life is reflecting that then uh, you you need to understand that you have to maintain distance okay so therefore now uh, please check your fourth house from all parameters of astrology please check your dashas please check your chart and only then you should come to a conclusion all right thank you so much for your patience please let me know down in the comments how would you rate yourself in all the 10 parameters what is good uh, among the 10 what is not good for you i would love to see it in the comments i may not be able to reply to each and every one of you but trust me believe me you must i read every comment <laughs> all right so if i am not replying to any comment don't believe that i have not seen it okay i have seen it <laughs> but it's that i don't have the time to reply sometimes to every comment okay i i try my best but i also only have 24 hours but again i see them and i love to reply okay so please uh, let me know in the comments and i would be very happy to see all of your uh, insights all right thank you so much once again if you're new then please subscribe hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with somebody who wants to know more about the fourth house and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in every house all right thank you